Unlike a medium such as painting, knitting is very logical. It is either knit this colour or knit this colour. And at the same time, it's still fuzzy and malleable and unpredictable. So it, it still does things I don't expect it to, even though I bring so much logic and so much science to it. My name is Sarah Spencer. I'm a software engineer from Melbourne. My contribution being displayed at the State Library exhibition is called Stargazing and Knitted Tapestry. It is a celebration of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and it's knitted on a vintage 1980s knitting machine. Over several years, I've been hacking this uh, domestic knitting machine. Um, and by hacking, I mean I've been modifying it to, uh, to do things it was never originally designed to do. I added a colour changer, I created a new algorithm for doing three colour knitting patterns. I added uh, a, um, a network capability. I even started to refer to it as my knitting network printer. I was inspired to make stargazing because um, I'm familiar with a festival in the UK called Electromagnetic Field. So I wanted to bring to this conference uh, my own enthusiasm for technology and for knitting. So I thought if I'm going to inspire and engage particularly young people in the sciences, what better the way in, you know, in the middle of a camp, in the middle of a field, than by taking a little bit of the science that's all around us. What better way than to show them the stars. The thing that really seems to strike people with stargazing is it's got a, a micro and a macro element to it. So when you see it like in just one shot in a single take from a distance, you can see the Milky Way and it's a beautiful, um, you know, almost like nebulous cloud that's like hovering through the centre of the piece and you can appreciate just the artwork from a distance. But then, you know, you look closer and it's got so much detail. The first time you look at it, it speaks to you in one way, but then the closer you get, it suddenly has all this other scope that's revealed. And, yeah, and then also the fact that it's knitted as well. So when Starnet went overseas, it wasn't actually finished. I'd always believed that my twin worlds of knitting and technology, of, of art and science, they're not mutually exclusive, but two parts to the whole. Artists can still use scientific rigor and scientists can still express technology in a form of art. So for the last few months, I've been wiring up the tapestry with LEDs, uh, over 840 uh, in, in total count. And I've also written an app so that uh, visitors to the tapestry can come and create their own art, create their own light show through the tapestry and explore their own meaning with art and technology. In donating the star map to the State Library of Victoria, it feels like it's coming home. It's been traveling overseas. It's been seen by millions of people online but it was made right here in Melbourne from locally sourced wool. So I am very grateful that the State Library is going to be putting it up for an exhibition so that uh, my own community can come and see it uh, in the space that it was made. <laughs>